So Gary, we just came from the uh, UVF Hall of Fame inductee ceremony and dinner, and uh, the BYU Center for Entrepreneurship was recognized there. Uh, well, congratulations to the university and for the outstanding accomplishments of that program. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit about the BYU Center for Entrepreneurship? Sure, sure John. Uh, in about 1989, the Center of Entrepreneurship was organized by founders in the local community who wanted to kind of uh, inject entrepreneurship in the Marriott School. And uh, those founders uh, donated funds and provided mentoring and sponsored the center. And even today, we now have 180 founders that sponsor the program. The Entrepreneurship Center is uh, really not dependent on university funds, but is solely a function of, of the funds donated by entrepreneurs in the community. And its main goal is to serve students and to help them start companies. Tell us about some of the student started companies that you've generated. And well, you know, probably uh, some that uh, most people be aware of is uh, in the MBA program, Jonathan Coons, 1-800-CONTACTS was a student uh, company coming out of the university and uh, Omniture, you know, uh, Josh James and, and his group uh, was another student that, you know, all these students usually won either Student Entrepreneur of the Year or in our business plan competition and then went on into actual developing the company and, and, and doing quite well in, in, in the industry. And so we're really proud of that. We have a number of great student companies that just started like Climate. Uh, received a lot of recognition, you know, they've got the, the new uh, jackets that you'll be able to put in argon gas in, you know, you'll have a little canister and inject it in and, and uh, regardless of the temperature outside, you set the kind of warmth you want. So kind of warmth on demand. And, uh, you know, School Tip Line also was a, uh, one of our student teams that won the National Business Plan competition, you know, School Tip Line was first, Climate was second in the world. And uh, school tip line is, uh, is, is moving throughout high schools throughout the United States and Canada and the world. Uh, I know they're starting to get some schools outside the United States. And they allow students to text in and say if anyone's bullying or did someone bring a gun to class, or, you know, and inform the school administrators before something happens. So, you know, all these students, they get passionate about doing good things in the world and, and they go out and develop companies. CEO Club at BYU uh, is one of the really top top five uh, student undergraduate clubs uh, in the United States, and uh, each year they win a number of national awards. They're they're pretty much known as being one of the top CEO clubs in the country, and um, and that's because you know we have students that are just very very excited about entrepreneurship. So John, you've been affiliated with the BYU Center for Entrepreneurship for a number of years now. Uh, why did you get involved? Uh, well, uh, you know, it's back to that model, learn, earn, and return. I didn't know that until the Center for Entrepreneurship approached me and talked to me about that. But one time what happened was Steve Gibson, one of the great angel investors and mentors in Utah Valley of uh, entrepreneurial ventures among students and even off campus, here at BYU, he uh, came and gave a talk in Seattle, and I was up there, and he gave a talk on what he does at BYU and what he does down here in Utah, and I said, I want to be him when I grow up, and, <laughs> and after I finished my high-tech career uh, and was ready for the next step in life, uh, it just worked out that coming here to BYU to give back and help out was, was the natural next thing, and that's how I got here. Tell me about some of the exciting things going on with the Center for Entrepreneurship. Of companies that uh, went on to measure some degree of success and, and greatness, probably over 60. Uh, there's probably about a dozen that literally became leaders. Uh, you know, BYU, beyond even the Center for Entrepreneurship, has created incredible companies. But the Center for Entrepreneurship has been uh, responsible for student-run and student-founded businesses that have gone become public companies, creating wealth, creating jobs, uh, changing industries. Well, the Center for Entrepreneurship has so many initiatives and so many things going on that are exciting, but absolutely the best is the students. The students that come here are just superior. They're excellent. 
and I, I notice the difference. Uh, you know, students are great statewide. BYU seem to have just a, the great combination of faculty, students, and alumni that help. And so we are doing things such as mentoring actual businesses, launching them, students that while they're carrying credit loads are actually launching businesses and you know uh, mitigating the risk by having strong mentors that are helping them uh, by getting the training and education they need it's kind of an incubator in and of itself without being a formal incubator uh, there's more work to do but there's just a lot of these exciting things the business plan competition the student entrepreneur of the year competition uh, the classes in entrepreneurship all of these things are those are some of the most exciting things I participate in. I love teaching uh, here at BYU Entrepreneurship. I teach the capstone courses for the undergraduate program in entrepreneurship, meaning when you're a senior and you're in your last semester or two in, as an entrepreneurship major, I teach the class that puts all their skills and all their previous education to work and they produce a business plan and give a presentation in front of real investors mm -hmm. and practice that and learn how to do that. And I, that's just, it's extremely rewarding.